Hey peeps, welcome to my behind the scenes videos where the hair is big. Well, not so big today, but I washed it. Give me a break. And the shirts are funky. Today we're talking about episode Take My Money. Now, this is our shortest episode and actually one of the most fun to shoot. It was an overnight shoot in Bushwick and it was uh, the equivalent of like a half day. Um, we were in and out and it was just like pretty smooth overall. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, we open with what I think is another great bit that leads us into the meat and potatoes of the scene, but actually has nothing to do with it. And again, I just think that's very much like life. And so I wanted to, to take that uh, and use it. I also had that exact same thought that uh, that Pete and Polly, that discussion that they're having about how, um, you know, who knew uh, flushing was the, you know, was the true like Chinatown. I mean, all those years watching the nanny, I thought it was, you know, filled with Jews. And I guess that used to be the case or whatever, but just a funny thought and it worked. And so we used it. So if you like that line, uh, it came from personal experience. Um, the mugger in this episode is played by the Brian Michael Smith. And if y'all are not familiar with him or his work, um, he is crushing it right now on Lone Star, uh, no, sorry, 911 Lone Star, um, The L Word, Next Generation, he had a huge role in, uh, Queen Sugar, and I mean like a ton of other credits. If you look him up on IMDb, he's blowing up right now. Um, incredible actor, great guy, so dope. We were in Anthony Abeson's acting studio together, um, and he crushed this role. I mean, we have this like sort of Robin Hood, you know, mugger type character who's not your run-of-the-mill mugger whatever that means. Um, and he thinks he's really doing the right thing here. Um, and Brian Michael just brought something like really interesting and real to the role. And everybody who watches it says that they love him. Steals the show, I think, in a great way. Um, and for me, the episode is all about racism within the community, um, which, at least in the mainstream, I don't think you see as much, or at least I haven't, based on what I've seen. Um, you know, especially in that way, he believes that he's doing me a favor or my character a favor by, um, you know, trying to rob Polly because she's white and she's the one with money and she's not, you know, disenfranchised and all that stuff. And I couldn't possibly have it anyway. Uh, but we turn the tables on him and read the hell out of this dude. Cause why not? I mean, that's first off, like comedically and like story wise, like funny, but you never really see something like that. And I thought it would be interesting to, uh, for these characters to sort of like in a strange naive way stand up to the mugger by you know showing him how problematic his thinking is um, and then it just totally goes off the rails. We just had so much fun on this one in particular especially when you look at the, the moment where the mugger goes I have a knife I mean we just get this great reaction shot of him saying that and he's so frustrated and over this like like ridiculous banter and he just did not see this coming um, that I think he's totally bewildered and that's why eventually he leaves us alone but uh, again Brian Michael for the win man just such a great actor and uh, and I laugh at that moment every time I watch it um, and then the vomit at the end of the episode uh, when after Pete has his you know badass moment here obviously he's not that cool uh, he's not going to get away with that so uh, he he blows it all over the, uh, the the sidewalk there. That was actually like some concoction that Stephanie had either heard about or used before for some sort of other project with like, you know, uh, oatmeal and, and, and chocolate pudding, I think, and, and some other with like water. And it was it was gross to look at, but didn't taste it. It didn't taste as bad as it looked. I'll put it that way. It wasn't great, but <laughs> uh but yeah, that, that was that for everybody who's been asking about that. Um, the craziest thing that I think happened during this episode was someone actually thought that we were being mugged. So as they're pulling up, they get out of the car and get ready to start like, you know, uh, fighting Brian Michael and, and all that stuff. And, you know, we're indie filmmakers. It's not like we have like a police crew standing by just to make sure everything's cool. So, and this guy was like a drunk idiot who was like, not in my hood. Oh, I thought, you know, like, whatever. And we had to all like scream and be like, dude, 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 no, it's cool. Like there are cameras over there and fly, like whatever, you know, and I, like it turned a little wild, got a little dicey for a second, but uh, we convinced him otherwise he got back in the car and, and was on his way and and we finished the, the rest of the episode without an issue. But man, was that a, a scary uh, moment. Uh, true behind the scenes, like, ah, moment. I, I wish we got it on camera or something, but I don't think we did. 
Um, anyway, those are my favorite parts about the episode. I hope y'all enjoyed and watched the full season of Peas in a Pod on YouTube and Facebook.